All right, hey y'all, real quick. I was just list uploading some of the videos and noticed that uh, one video was incomplete. It kind of shut off uh, abruptly. That was the one that I entitled, We All Have the Mark of the Beast. So we're going to call this part two. We all have the mark of the beast. It's been several weeks since we recorded that one. But I think we can finish it up by telling you what is the mark of the beast. Okay. Well, first of all, you have to know, in order to, to find what the mark of the beast is, you really have to find what the mark of God is and then go opposite. Mark of the Lord, the mark of Jehovah. And then you have to go opposite. You say, well, what is the mark of the Lord? Okay. Mark, you have to understand, and sign are the same word. To mark something and to sign something is the same thing. You know, if you, back in the day when people didn't know how to read, didn't know how to write, you know, African Americans didn't know how to write, they would put their mark on it. And they would put their mark on the block that he was supposed to sign. So it should be real easy to realize that mark and sign is the same thing. So we're looking for the sign of God. And what is the sign of God? Well, the sign of God, as you know, is the Sabbath day, right? Go back to Exodus. When you read all through Exodus, especially Exodus chapter 20 through 24, when it talks of the covenant, he talks of the sign of the covenant being the Sabbath day. So you put two and two together with the sign of the Lord being the covenant, being the Sabbath day. Then what is the sign of Satan would be the opposite, which is breaking out the Sabbath day. So how can I say we all have the mark of the beast? Because we have no idea when the Sabbath day is. We don't know. It's, it's like, you know, there, there's a few people who have Enoch calendars, who use Enoch calendars, or understand how Enoch uh, explained the luminaries. and But they are very few. I mean, it's like, what, 1%? I would, I would bet it's 1% one, uh, uh, 1 of 1% of all the people on the planet understand that we're supposed to be looking at the... the uh, phase of the, the the moon when it comes to picking out uh, or deciding when our week starts when our month starts and when our sabbath day lands and because nobody knows how to do that we have the mark of the beast we got the mark of the beast you know we, we, we are basically we have excuse me we have turned over the lord's authority when he said that we will have a sabbath day we will honor the sabbath day we turned over that authority to the Pope who said your Sabbath day would be on Sunday. Okay, now we know the Pope worships the sun. The Pope worships the sun. We know that. If you don't believe it, look it up. Does the Pope worship the sun? You're on YouTube? Fine. Put in YouTube, sir. Does the Pope worship the sun? And the Pope decreed that we would have a Sabbath on, he would have a Sabbath on Sunday. Okay, so everybody's doing, everybody's having a Sabbath day on Sunday. He said, well, not everybody. Well, those that aren't are having it on Saturday. They, they're having a big old, big old fight in the, in the church. So I just heard a weird noise. I'm about to go check that out. But we had a we, we had we got a huge fight in the church, in the Protestant church these days, over whether the Sabbath day is on Saturday or whether it's on Sunday. It's neither one. You can't use the Gregorian calendar to, to know when the Sabbath day is. Sure, this week right now is falling on a Saturday. But as soon as we have a new moon, it's going to change again. It's every new moon. Every time there's a new moon, there's a new month, and you get a new Sabbath day, and our Sabbath day will change. And because we don't know that or keep up with it, we have the mark of the beast. So it's, it's not a question of do we, are we going to accept the mark of the beast? No, the question is are you going to get rid of it? Are we going to get rid of the mark of the beast? Are we going to worship the Lord? Are we going to serve the Lord, be obedient to the Lord? Are we going to continue to be obedient to the Pope? You know? So until we... Until we find out when the real Sabbath day is. And as long as you think it's a certain day of the week on a Gregorian calendar, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, you're wrong. If you say it's Monday this week or Monday this week, Monday this month, and then it's going to change, then you're closer to the truth. You might, might actually got it right if you understand Enoch. I got some videos on the Enoch calendar. There's a lot of people got eight videos on Enoch calendar. Look that up. You got to have that. If you don't have that, you have the mark of the beast. All right. I'm getting rid of mine. I ain't keeping it. I might have it now. Or well, I might have had it when I first started writing these videos. But I'm getting rid of it. You should get rid of it too. Now, who's your eyes, Lord?